Hi this is Nariko. Welcome to my channel. In this video we will discuss some basic internet terminologies that are commonly used. Browser, a software application used to access and view websites. Examples include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Safari. URL, uniform resource locator the address used to access a specific web page on the internet. For example, https colon slash slash www.example.com http slash https hypertext transfer protocol slash secure protocols used for transferring data over the web https is the secure version encrypting data for safer communication ip address a unique string of numbers separated by periods that identifies each computer using the internet protocol to communicate over a network Bandwidth, the maximum rate of data transfer across a given path. Higher bandwidth allows more data to be transmitted at once. Blog, a website that is regularly updated with new content, often written in an informal or conversational style. Clickbait, content designed to attract attention and encourage visitors to click on a link, often using sensational or misleading headlines. Add-ons slash extensions. Small software programs that add functionality to a web browser. They can enhance the browsing experience but may also pose privacy risks. 404 error, an error message indicating that the web page you are trying to access cannot be found. Archive, the process of moving data from an active environment to a secondary location for long term storage. Cookie, a small piece of data stored on the user's computer by the web browser while browsing a website. Cookies are used to remember information about the user, such as login details or preferences. Firewall, a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. ISP, Internet Service Provider, a company that provides individuals and organizations access to the Internet. Malware, malicious software designed to harm, exploit, or otherwise compromise a computer system. Phishing, a type of online scam where attackers impersonate legitimate organizations via email, text message, or other means to steal sensitive information. Spam, unsolicited and often irrelevant or inappropriate messages sent over the internet, typically to a large number of users. VPN, virtual private network, a service that encrypts your internet connection and hides your online activity from third parties. Wi-Fi. A technology that allows devices to connect to the internet wirelessly within a certain range. DNS, domain name system, the system that translates human-friendly domain names, like www.example.com, into IP addresses that computers use to identify each other on the network. Cloud storage, a service that allows you to store data on remote servers accessed from the internet, rather than on your local computer. Information systems are the integration of digital hardware and software systems that are used to create and communicate information. Peripherals are devices that connect to a digital system to assist in its functionality. Computational thinking is using a digital system to help solve a problem by breaking it down into steps and organizing data. Branching is the instructions in an algorithm or program that cause varied actions depending on specific conditions. The term unplugged means the use of a device that is not digitally connected. Computer coding is the set of instructions that tells computer software what to do. An algorithm is a set of steps that are used to help complete a task. The World Wide Web is the information space accessed through a web browser. Debugging is finding and fixing a problem that is preventing software from performing its purpose or function. Computer data is information stored by a computer and can consist of text, images, audio, video, and software. Digital systems are hardware and software that work together. A digital footprint is a data trail that includes websites visited, information provided online, and emails sent. Cybersecurity is safeguards put in place to ensure that hardware, software, and data are protected from cyber attacks. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.